Well, Indianapolis has transformed into NBA All-Star Central. Tens of thousands of fans will flood downtown, and there are many events and festivities you can take part in. Yeah, WRTV's Caitlin Kendall reports on what you can do that's cheap or even free if you're balling on a budget. Traveling through downtown Indianapolis, it's clear. Basketball has taken over the city. Welcome to Indy, basketball fans. And we all know basketball in Indiana, they just go together. It's just different here. I mean, we, we like to say that, right? In 49 other states, it's just basketball, but this is Indiana. And just about anywhere you go this weekend, it's sure to be a fan experience. We want people to come down, and whether or not they're basketball fans, whether or not they have a ticket to any of the games, we want them to come down and just experience Indy's home court. The area around Gainbridge Fieldhouse stretching to Lucas Oil Stadium. Plenty for fans to do and the makeshift basketball court with Georgia Street as the free throw line. That this is going to be the most community facing NBA All-Star ever and we've stuck to that. And you don't have to plan to spend an arm and a leg to have fun. Tons going on. That's a lot of it is free. One of the main experiences is the art. Pop up art displays free all throughout Indy. Murals, displays, even six foot basketballs that tell the history of the game in the Hoosier State. I can't wrap my mind around it. Jingo M. De La Rosa is one of dozens of local artists with work displayed downtown. This is Heartland Slam. Well, I grew up in the Philippines, and growing up, I uh, we didn't have cable. So relatives from Indiana would send over VHS tapes of NBA All-Star Weekend, and I was just enamored by the slam dunk contest. But art isn't the only free thing. The Pacers bike share will be free. Indigo will give free rides and inside the convention center, a number of free events. We are so community focused and we want people to collaborate and be a part of the action and feel like they have ownership over the event. At the convention center, a cheaper priced event for all ages. The NBA crossover event with players giving autographs, interactive experiences, and even live performances. Tickets are 35 for adults and 20 for kids. But even outside of that, there are pop-ups like the suite, which moved into an old restaurant. It's free with live DJs, stand-up comedians, and a local coffee shop next door. We're excited to have all these folks downtown. In Indianapolis, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. All-star events in downtown Indy range from free to prices in the thousands of dollars. We do have a section on our website with all the things that fans need to know, and that includes the event schedule, where to park, a concert guide, and where you can spot celebrities. That's all at WRTV.com. And check this out. It is our first look at the NBA All-Star Court at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. It features the Pacers' navy blue and gold colors, a checkered flag silhouette in the top left and bottom right corners, and stars on the sidelines. The game itself is happening this Sunday at 8 p.m.